Right guys, it's time to upgrade our skills and our wallet because in the bear market by investing now, long term there's a lot of money to be made. Short term, not really. How do you make short term money so that you can invest and make even more long term? By trading. Margin trading is of course risky because you're trading on leverage but if you do it right you can make a lot of money you can easily you know 40 percent gains in your portfolio in one single trade that's what we're going to take a look at there's a platform i love to use for that i'll show you how it works i'll show you the simple tricks on how to margin trade exactly by just drawing one or two trend lines let's go for it so everybody's using bybit binance kucoin I really like to use Fairdesk. Why? It has a very clear overview and it has a couple of things that all these other platforms don't have. So first of all, uh, links in the description. If you use the link there, look, earn 4% extra return on your first deposit. If you use the link below, you can earn 5%. So if you, you know, invest, uh, deposit $100, you get $105. That extra $5 can really be a lot because like I said, it's a bear market. Also, they have an arena where you can win multiple prizes. So let's just become the best traders. There is, a, it's a bear market. We have a lot of time to learn stuff, right? They also have a native token on this platform, by the way, and this platform, it's kind of big already um, but it's not Binance big right so might be interesting to look at that but I will talk about that later for now it's all about investing so how does it work exactly well what I really like it is very easy to use I want the user friendly stuff because crypto can be hard enough already so you go to the link in the description you click it you go you end up here you make an account uh, right corner or something like that you just sign up very simple once you did that and you have your account right there um, you want to deposit a little money of course to start with right how do you deposit money you go to your own profile and you click wallet and here there are a couple of things that you can deposit for example um, BUSD right I mean everybody these days uses MetaMask or Trust Wallet or whatever so you have your BUSD there right so if you go click deposit BUSD and I'm gonna start a challenge with this by the way I'm gonna start with $150 and I want to grind it up up till a thousand dollars let's see if we can do that if we do if we uh, done that we're gonna make that ten thousand uh, dollars we're gonna make it more and more and more and more you can do it with me um, I think it's a pretty cool challenge so you just get your address right here you copy it, you go to your MetaMask and you send your BUSD. So you go to your assets and you search for BUSD and I have all these fucking shit. Ah, right, here we go. <laughs> so let's uh, paste the address right there. And let's say I want to send 20 BUSD. I already have some money right there, but I just want to show you, right? So I will start with $170 in this case. Well, let's make $1,000 out of $170. I think that's a pretty decent challenge, right? You can do it with uh, starting with $1,000 and you make, I don't know, eight, eight grand out of it or something like that. It's pretty fast. It's just a Binance Smart Chain, right? So if you go to history, then in a couple of minutes, I did it before already. In a cup, this is not this transaction, but in a couple of minutes, I could see that my transaction uh, came in and I can start. So um, let's wait for it to come in and then let's get to it, man. I'm very excited. Um, I'm not that active on this channel anymore. I want to be more active active um, as investing is like yeah we want to catch the new stuff because even in a bear market new stuff could do really well but it is a bear market right so in the meantime let's just focus on getting a healthy cash flow uh, to invest here we go I got my $20 BUSD pending 10 out of the 12 uh, confirmations you know that uh, like I said Binance the BNB chain here we go it's very fast right so I got my uh, my dollars then we go to transfer because we want to transfer um, let me go back to then sorry then you go to your wallet so you click your account here and you go to your wallet again and I see my BUSD here. So I'm gonna transfer it because it's now in my usual wallet for you know investing, spot trading, but we want to go leverage trade, right? So we go, uh, and it automatically, by the way, converts it to USDT, very handy as well. So we're gonna select all, transfer and there is a small 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 fee of like six cents for the transfer but you know if you trade that on binance or wherever then you also have that fee right there so now if you click account you see that you have your usdt right there so i have 170 dollars to start this whole challenge with 
Okay, let's go for it. They have an app, by the way, so you can just download the app. I can scan the code, download the app, because, you know, uh, I, I don't know, most people are not behind their computer all day, so you might want to get the app, right? If you haven't heard about Fairdesk, you know, new platforms always, uh, you know, uh, spooky, like, oh, is it new, is it trust? Just look it up, search on Twitter, search reviews. It's, it's a big platform. Um, I like how they uh, work, how they engage with the community. Uh, and like I said, it's very user-friendly. That's what I need. So if you are ready to go margin trade, you go to USDT and futures and you click the uh, above, right? Here, you can go do future trading. Now, I want to show you a couple of things. First, how you set your orders, like if you really don't know or anything, but also how to draw a you know decent trend line and how to spot like if there is a trade to be made or not, right? Because it's not always uh, time to trade. Sometimes the best trade is no trade, right? So we want to look at that as well. And I want to show you stop losses and take profits because if you don't do that, you will get wrecked, sir. And that's not what you want. So first, you have this section right here. It says Bitcoin USDT. If you click that, you get all the coins that they have listed. They have quite a, a handful of coins that are very nice for spot trading, for example, uh, margin trading. For example, Matic is one that I actually always love to margin trade because Matic just I don't know, the way it moves, the way it moves, it's like, uh, no, my Matic is just great. So um, let me uh, get rid of all this nonsense right here and let's take a look at Matic, for example. So what you want to do, um, you might ask yourself like, yeah, but what coins do we need to uh, use to trade? doesn't really matter right every coin has a chart uh, with resistances and support so just check out first i think it's important that you can read a chart right so we're now on the four hour chart that's for a slightly mid-term trading you can also look at the 15 minute chart i'm not really a big fan of that you can also take a look at the hour chart um, but first you have to see like is is, is this tradable right in case of Matic, I don't really know. Matic looks dangerous, um, and that's just because it is. Uh, it was kind of, um, you know, where it is right now. This red line was kind of resistance, resistance, and once it gets above it, it support. But now we broke below it, and it's kind of resistance again. So it's sitting just like it can go up can come down it has to make a decision like am i support or resistance right here and i i want a clearer sign so we're not going with matic and one handy tip right here by the way you have your drawing tools but you need to know where to find them so if you go here this little blue arrow right here and you click that you have oil tools it's just like trading view and like i said if you don't know how to use it i'm gonna show you the simple you know the most simple things are basically the things that you need to know right so matic um for now nah not really what you can also do you can sort by the 24 hour change uh for example this coin had a pretty decent pump so usually it's like if something goes up pretty fast it should come down as well right there's always uh, a cool off period and when i look at this and let me take a look if i'm right about that um yeah Th this might be a uh, nice one to to put a short in um why do i say that well it was kind of uh, support right here where it's now sitting support support when we broke below okay we broke back up support support all support all support and it was resistance here for a while and now uh, we are sitting at that resistance again and it looks like it's getting rejected at the moment so you know this might come down so hmm. All right, cool, let's take a look at that. Also, um, if you make the screen big, it works a little better. So here we go, here we have the indicators, uh, the drawing tools again. And um, I feel like this one is a pretty decent one to put a short in right now. So what do we do? Well, let us uh, let me show you. Okay, so first, you know, you have your drawing tools right here on the left side. You can make your horizontals, uh, which are most important. And yeah, like I said, it, it, it it's like this right here. And let me make the line a little thicker here. You can adjust the thickness of the line. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's a big trend line, right? You can you can move it a little here, you can move it a little here. But you know, somewhere around this area is a, a very uh, strong 
trend line. So in that case, it's getting rejected right here. Where might it go? Because you want to set your stop losses as well, right? And you want to have a point like, okay, this is where I'm going to take my profits. Well, first off, I'm going to put in a short, so I'm gonna show you how that works. But first, if it goes up, right? Then it broke this trend line. Then you might be like, oh shit, if it breaks an important trend line, you don't want to set your stop loss at the trend line, right? Because there could be a fake out like this, you get wiped out. <laughs> Look, if you were shorting here and you have your stop loss here, somewhere like that, you get wiped out. And then a couple of hours later, it goes all the way down and you're missing out on a lot of gains. That, that's not what you want. So you always want to set your stop loss a little higher or lower based on if you're long or short compared to where the big trend lines are, right? So in this case, I would say uh, I would set my stop loss around 21.3, right? 21.3. So uh, let me 21... 21.4. You don't want to set it too high, otherwise you're losing more money than necessary. Uh, that's also not what you want. Um, now, assuming that it comes down, where do you expect it to go, right? Where do you want to take your profits? Because, um, you know, it, it if it goes down and... Uh, let me take a look. This is the big trend line, as far as I see right here 19 so you want to set a uh, take profit otherwise if you do not take your profits right there and it goes there or lower and it bounces back up this whole ride you know it was for nothing right then you automatically took your profits right here so that's good also you want to measure it a little bit like okay if it goes there like uh, i haven't drawn the line but if it goes i thought it was around here it's eight percent move Okay, 8% move, nice. If it goes from where we are right now up till uh, where we set our stop loss, that's a 4% move. So the profit is more than the loss will be, of course. And that's, you know, you want to calculate that a little responsible, of course. I think this ratio is not even that great, but okay. So let's put in a short right here. And I have, uh, I'm already having a limit order placed on, uh, on Ethereum. Um, so, how does it work? Well, we now know about the, 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 you know, the positions and the profit taking. So what you can do, you can make a limit order, you can make a market order. Making a limit order is saying like, okay, uh, let's say I want to short, but I want to short only if the price is at 0 0.207 whatever then you can fill that in and once you know the price is there it will take your order and then it will you know you know that's how it works <laughs> you can also do a market order then you say like okay this point from here is good for me to start you just take the current price right and that's in this case i feel like current price is uh good for me <clears throat> you always want to check this out it's automatically sitting on the 20x leverage you can go with way more with uh one coin you can go to 50x leverage this one with 25 whatever um or you can go even higher um I would not recommend you going with more than 10. You know, um, the higher this is, the more profit you have. It's very simple. Um, if you do it 10x, let's say we do it with $100, right? And our, and this is what will happen. We go down uh, like 8%, right, on our short. And we do it 10x leverage. So that's an 80% gain that we have. Then we make $80 out of the $100. <laughs> that, that's an insane profit. But you also have to calculate it like this. If we go down 4%, right? And that's on a uh, um, uh, 10x, then we lose 40%. So keep it in mind, all right? So I want to set this a little lower, you know, just above these fake outs. Um, because that was a line right there, right? So we're going to uh, use a, I'm going to, well, we, I'm going to use, it's not live, so you cannot do this with me. I'm just explaining to you how it works and you can make your own trades then, of course. Um, I'm going to use a 7X leverage on this, right? So 7X, I'm gonna do a market order. 
Here you can fill in how much of these coins you want to buy. But to really make it easy, you here see how much cash you have, right? So if you click this and you just change this into USDT margin cost, then you can just fill in the amount of USDT you want to use, right? So I have 120 right here. So I want to use uh, half of it. I don't want to go all in. I want to use half of it because I want to have another position, right? So I'm going to use 60. Then take profit stop loss okay cool so we're gonna set our stop loss at 0 0.2114 so uh, stop loss 0 0.2114 and we're gonna our, gonna take our profit look this is a clear uh, support right here i want to take it a little above right in case it just doesn't doesn't make it to that support so 0 0.1859 so 0.1859 is where we are going to take our profits right then we click um don't buy long <laughs> in this case we're gonna sell short all right so we click sell short and then it is an open order right here and it gets filled anytime now uh oh well here it is by the way the open order is by the way for the take profit and the stop loss right so we have our open position right here now what you can see right here um yeah it's basically very simple um the amount of leverage that you use 7x which coins you are going to use, the amount, this, so the contract that you bought, um, your entry price, uh, the market price, the current price, your liquidation price, right? So if you do not have set your stop loss then and it hits this price, you get liquidated and you lose all the money that you put into it. In this case, we can't because we have our stop loss set, right? <clears throat> the unrealized profit loss, um so i have lost a dollar for now right but that's unrealized because i didn't close it yet so you know it could go any anyway any and could do anything right now and the realized profit loss is what you actually took so um if you feel like okay cool it's good for me uh, you know you you basically don't have to do anything anymore because you have your stop loss you have your take profit point you can just wait right now right i mean you are shorting the resistance and in this case, the chance is higher that you make money out of it. But you can also lose a little bit, of course, therefore your stop loss. Right? So what you can do, if the price goes here and you see some, for example, good news coming out uh, and, and you feel like, I don't know if it's still going down, maybe I should close it. You can press quick close and then it closes it and you take your profits at that point. You can choose advanced close. If you choose advanced close, you can choose how much uh, of your short or your long you want to close. So you can say like, okay, I'm going to dollar cost out of this position uh, as well, right? I'm going to, you know, close my short a little bit when uh, it's this price and I'm gonna close the other half for example when it's uh, I don't know this price for I don't know you know so that's how that works that's basically how this works very simple I love the platform um, it says exactly here's your stop loss here's your take profits and here's what you uh, here's how it's looking right now right um, and you can share it right here. Well, this is not something to be proud of, but we just opened it, so it's still going up and down and up and down. So we just wait until we see what happens. Now, I want to make $1,000 out of it, so I'm gonna take a, a new position. Um, and let me check what they have, right? Because there are a lot of good projects uh, that they got listed. And we, I have my limit order for Ethereum set, so I'm not gonna mess around with that for now. Yeah, Phantom is, oh, Phantom is really, um, let me take a look. Do they have the indicators right here? I have to check out if they have that. For now, let's pull up trading view because just I'm used to trading view, right? Because I want to check out one other thing, and that's this. Look, if you um, are trading a coin, I think I, I love using stochastic RSI. Like this is on the weekly and it's still quite high, so I expect it to go down in the long term. But if you use it on, like, let's say the four hour, it looks like Phantom. Um, well, it's still going up, but it's going you know it's getting overbought but on the other hand here it was getting overbought as well and it took a while before it was out of that 
you know, region. And in the meantime, you went from 25 cents all the way to 28 cents. And for margin trading, that's a lot, right? That, that, there you can make a lot of money. Um, so four hour, okay. Let's check out the one hour. One hour is just there. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to take a too long-term trade on Phantom when it comes to that. Let's take a look at the chart. Yeah, and, and what I like about Phantom is that Phantom is basically sitting at crucial support almost almost if we look at phantom at the moment like the really the the the, the, the biggest support yeah here right we had a lot of support here support here support around this area fake out okay support here right so phantom is not there yet i expect phantom to go uh, a little lower and is that a lot well not really, but you know, on margin, it is a lot. It's 3%. So I expect Phantom to come down maybe till this level. Maybe not, maybe not. So we might want to open it a little higher. So let's do it now again, but then with a limit order. So I want to open a Phantom long in this case because it's sitting on crucial support. It might break. Um, it broke it before, right? The bigger support level is, uh, the, well, the final support level is this, and then it's like Phantom with no pulse anymore. Then it's really a ghost. But <laughs> in this case, I feel like, man, chances are pretty big that it will bounce off this support, right? So I want to open my, um, well, I want to open it like somewhat higher and i'm gonna set my stop loss around here right so i want to open phantom at well just 20, 24 cents that's where i want to open phantom uh so and always remember this automatically resets to 20x all right so watch out for that because the higher it is if you have a quick wick to the wrong direction you get you can get uh liquidated right so watch out for that i want to go with phantom with a 5x leverage fine all right so we're gonna do a limit. We're gonna do it exactly at 24. If it's not gonna hit, it's not gonna hit. You better miss out on the trade than uh, mess up a trade, right? How much money do we have? We have 90, $59, okay. So we're gonna do this with $59 in this case because I want to, you know, yeah. We get, we gotta make some we gotta make the most out of it, right? Um, so what you can also do because now it's a limit order, so we then we are not in a rush with our take profit and stop loss, right? So if you feel like oh shit, I want to take this trade right now, you can just fill in the amount and just go with buy the long. Check if everything is correct. Always triple check. Leverage not too high. How much money you want to spend? Okay. Cool, let's go for it, buy the long. Right, so the order is submitted. So now if we go to this order here at open orders, we can see our Phantom order right here. And now we wait for Phantom to get fulfilled, right? And that's all we uh, need to do. And we can already check out like, okay, but where are we going to take our profits with Phantom? Well, let's make it a little bigger. How does Phantom look? Um, Phantom on the four hour, what do we notice? And sometimes, look, it's hard sometimes to just look at it and see what's up, right? You really have to just, like, I mean, you can draw a line like this, which was almost accurate, <laughs> like this. And you see that rejection, 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 rejection broke above. Looked like a breakout, but uh, came back below it and got rejected right here. Right? So, okay, okay, okay. But where, where do we want to take our profits in this case? Well, if Phantom goes back up, then I feel like the first major, you know, resistance point is around 26 and a half cents, right? If, I mean, we can all agree on that, I think. Um, we just have to see where the candles come together most, basically, right? I'm, I'm doing this noob way, but I just want everybody to understand uh, what I'm saying, right? So major support, but we broke it, so it's now going to be resistance. So 26 and a half cents is going to be my take profit section, and just slightly below this, I want to um, slightly below right here, somewhere like that. Oh, wrong, but like. Yeah, whatever like here uh 23 and a half i want to set my stop loss right so if we go below that from the moment we take our uh trade 
and we go to 23 and a half, we lose 2%, right? On leverage, it's 10%. Um, so we lose 10% of the, the money that we invested. Okay, that, that's doable, right? From the moment we take the trade and we go to where our target is, it's 10%, all right? With a 5x leverage, it's 50%. So we can lose 10% or we can win 50%. That's a good ratio. So that's how you want to play it. There, that, that way there's no losing. Of course you can lose a little bit, but you're <laughs> basically, you know, longing the support. So this is a really uh, good way to just make most out of crypto. And don't rush things. That was always my problem. I was rushing it and uh, I feel like, man, it's fine like this. It's fine like this, right? So in this case, um, we'll wait for Phantom to get failed and then, uh, yeah, we'll see, man. Um, I have to take a look like shit because I haven't, uh, you know, set my... Ah, yeah, here we go. You can't set your uh, take profit and stop loss once it's still confirming, so we have to wait for that. So yeah, you're better off just filling it in right away. Right, with your open positions, you can always do that or adjust that or whatever. So <clears throat> that's basically how I do it. Um, I will make some more videos on, yeah, well, I'll make a lot more videos on this because I just love it to start a cool challenge. But in this case, also about the platform, uh, about what you can do right here, because I'm now showing you how this works, but what is this platform? Um, what can you do right here? How does it work? There are a lot of cool features. I'll come back to that. For now, thanks for watching. Let me know if you're gonna participate in this challenge or that you're at least gonna follow this challenge, like the video. Uh, is there someone else I want you to do? Not really, man, I just love you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.